Welcome to Data Doctor's video, Suggestion 811, Uncleaned Profile After Merge. Caution, this video is for advanced users. Example 1 shows merging duplicate headings. Example 2 shows merging duplicate sources. Suggestion 811 is caused when two or more profiles have been merged, but their duplicated headings and sources have not been combined. Here is the suggestion report for William Wright that just shows one suggestion, 811. The info column shows only the number 3. That is the number of merges leaving duplicated headings. Here is the public view for William Wright. As you can see under the content index, there are three sets of biography and sources headings. Only one of the biography headings has subheadings. For ease of explanation, the first biography and sources will be Biography A and Sources A. The second will be B and the third C. Scrolling down, you also see that Biography A has a first-hand information reference. It's doubtful that the creator of this profile has first-hand knowledge of someone who died in 1888, so this is not a source. However, Biography A does have some biographical text. Biography B is empty, but it has sources with its subheadings. Biography C is empty as well. Because each of the three sources headings has a references tag, the references are shown multiple times. Click on Edit. Under Biography Heading A, delete the incomplete sentence William Wright dot dot dot. Delete the first-hand knowledge reference and the following paragraph. Delete sources heading A and its contents. The biography heading B has no relevant text. However, the date of JEDCOM import should be moved to an acknowledgments heading. Create the heading at the end of the edit box and move the import information below that. Delete Biography Heading B and its contents. That leaves us with Biography Heading A, followed by several subheadings, Sources Heading B, Biography Heading C, and Sources Heading C. Delete Sources Heading B. The Biography Heading C has no relevant text since the JEDCOM import is a duplicate of the one from Biography Heading A, now in the Acknowledgements section, delete it with the rest of the text under Heading C. This leaves Sources Heading C and References tag, which should remain. Click on Preview to check your work. The contents now lists one biography with subheadings one Sources heading, and one Acknowledgement heading. The sources are only showing once. Go to the middle of the profile page and explain your changes. This is strongly recommended for all Wikitree members and is required for data doctors. For me, I identify myself as a data doctor, copy the suggestion number and name, and explain what I've changed. Save your work. Return to the Suggestions report, and on the far right, click on Status. On the next page, the Suggestion Status Report, make sure your Wikitree ID is showing. Next, select one of the five status options, in this case, Corrected. Leave a comment from the comment tents, or make one of your own. Click the Update Status button. The last screen shows that the status history has recorded your changes. And you're done. Example 2 Here is the suggestion report for William Alexander. The info column only shows the number 2. That is the number of merges leaving duplicated headings. Here is the public view for William Alexander. As you can see under the content index, there are two sets of biography and sources headings. For ease of explanation, 
The first biography and sources will be Biography A and Sources A. The second will be Headings B. The subheadings in the two biographies are basically the same, except that Biography A has a death subheading, while Biography B doesn't. Even though headings and subheadings can be identical, sometimes the associated text and sources are not. For instance, one profile could use the Social Security Death Index as a death date source. The other profile could use a death certificate. In the merged profile, both sources should be used under one subheading. Carefully look for content that is not repeated. Scrolling down, you see Sources A references link to FamilySearch, a free site, while Sources B links to Ancestry, a paid site. It is preferable to use free site sources. Sources A and Sources B cite the same facts with identical sources, except that Sources A has an Indiana Death Certificate and Sources B doesn't. Click on Edit. Since Biography B and Sources B are duplicates of Biography A and Sources A, delete them, with one exception. Put the created through text in Sources B under a new heading, Acknowledgements. There are two steps to take in the remaining biography. First, delete non-essential text from the biography section. Second, there are two 1880 residences. Delete the first one. Now to organize the sources section. Three steps are needed here. First, move the references tag to just below the sources heading, where it should always be. Second, move the created through text to the acknowledgements section. Third, delete the ancestry family tree references since they are not a source. Each source only needs to be used once, except for the Indiana Death Certificate. That will be used three times, in subheadings Name, Birth, and Death. Return to the Biography section. Delete all sources beside each fact. Once that is done, place the cursor next to the 1850 residence and click the Citation button above. Move the 1850 reference from the Sources section to between the ref tags. Repeat this process for all the residence dates. Now turn your attention to the remaining subheadings. Place the cursor next to the name fact. Click the Citation button and move the Indiana Death Certificate source to between the ref tags. Since it will be used multiple times, name this citation in a way that identifies it. Ref name equals IDC, short for Indiana Death Certificate. Copy that tag to the birth fact and add a forward slash just before the closed angled bracket. Copy that to the death fact. The sources section should now be empty except for the references tag below it. Click on Preview to check your work. For this profile, the Contents Index now lists one biography heading with subheadings, one sources heading, and one acknowledgments. The biography section looks correct with all the sources numbered. Go to the middle of the profile page, explain your changes, and save your work. As in Example 1, update the suggestion status and leave a comment. Click the Update Status button. The last screen shows that the status history has recorded your change. And you're done.